Hi guys, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. So as you know, I have been using the um, Fonichi, I guess you know, if you remember. Kind of wanted to show you what I've done up to this point <coughs> and I thought we would do. Sorry. And I thought we would do uh, today's page. Let me kind of scooch this closer to me. There we go. So we've been really busy. Um, I'm not really going to go over everything that I wrote. If you want to see it, you can pause it. Um, this was a little elf. I may have already talked about this one, but this was a little elf that I made from Karen Campbell's um, channel. Uh, this is Mexican rice that I'm going to make again tonight. So and then I watercolored this, which I loved, and I want to turn that into a Christmas card for next year. I think I told you guys Clint got bit by a horse. Still has issues with that arm. <laughs> yeah, there's still actually, you can still see it. See it. Is it a nod or yeah, is it just it was, a. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Over so, a month, hadn't it? Uh, let me tell you. I think actually, it has been over a month. It has been because that was. Um, yeah, it's been right at a month. Yeah, I knew it was cold because I was wearing a coat. Because that was December the 4th. So yeah, we finally got one of our cars back, um, the small one that we really like because it's really good on gas. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, finally got that one back. We haven't heard about the other one, but right now we don't care. Don't care. We have one and that's the one that needed the transmission. So when we rented the car and the car rental was like $1,500, I tell you, it was crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I did this one with you guys. So, this is my Hallmark movies. I did watch a lot of the movies, and I am still drawing every day. So, we just um, <clears throat> haven't been doing a lot. Just haven't been feeling that good, and it's just when we are, you know, we're trying to get the house cleaned up. We're doing some decluttering, and... I mean, when you wake up at 3 o'clock every single morning, it doesn't matter. Clint slept till 5 the other day. He felt like he had a holiday or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. had an awesome nap yesterday. Yeah, you did. Look at the, um, so these are all hand drawings, hand drawings. I'm just trying to do a little bit of hand drawing on everything. Um, because that's my goal for the year is to continue my daily drawing. Sometimes all I do is like a smiley face or whatever, but that to me is still considered a drawing. And I try not to do that like two days in a row. <laughs> so I am trying to do a, um, this one was really cute when we went out with Steve and Charlotte that's to the, so um, fun. yeah, to the, um, like luminary luminary more? thing they had a statue like this little cat and so I drew him snowflakes or the little kitties making and we canned potatoes for the first time this year or yeah no it was in December but um they're actually really good so I was I, I was them. quite pleased with them they kind of have if they're too big, I guess, when you cook them afterwards. I think there's like a little bit of a flavor there, but not bad. I didn't notice it, but. I know, which is good. Which with me, that's unusual because I usually notice Yeah, things, I think not. it's too big. So you want to make sure you cut them up enough to cook them. Yeah, you can't have them too small or it will kind of. Well, you want them small. You don't want them. They're pretty big when they go in the jar. I don't know if you can see that, but they're probably about this big when they go into the quart jars yeah and you definitely want to peel them because you can't get all the botulism can you guys not even see that let me raise you up a little okay how's that sorry there we go <clears throat> i'm recording on clint's phone but yeah um the pills you can't get rid of all the botulism so that is what we do but i 
pretty pleased with them. We won't do that unless, you know, we won't use them unless we really need to. I mean, if we have fresh potatoes, then we'll use that. Yeah, because well, they had a anyways. sale on potatoes. God, yeah, for so like good. two, two, two bucks or two seventy-five or something, and they're over five bucks, five ninety-nine. But then they had all these sales on these potatoes, and so we bought like four or five or six bags. Six bags. Yeah. And then we went to pick up the one car, the Forerunner, and uh, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but we moved all those potatoes over, so we were moving them back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of not the day to buy a lot of potatoes, but yeah. So we can them to see if they would work, and we've eaten them to see, make sure they're working, and everything looks good. Yeah, because we've had them kind of like a stew kind of thing. Yeah, we had them in a stew, and then I cooked them. I kind of fried them up yesterday, and they were really good. So, I couldn't yeah. tell yesterday or the other day when we had them in the fried no uh -uh. i really liked them so we ended up with 13 quarts <coughs> uh i don't know if you guys recognize these cookies but i drew this out this is the only kind of cookie we had this year i just purchased them online and they were plenty for us i'm still yeah. i'm still down 20 pounds and i do not want to gain anything in fact i want to start losing again so we just ate some of these cookies just for a treat. I don't know that they were anything that special, but no. you know, they were fine. It gave us a little bit of, of a change. And sis got me some Oreos. Yeah, and then sis gave Clint some, um, like a family pack of Oreos because her friend used to deliver them and she had tons of them. So she gave us some because I don't know, you know how they get extra leftovers and stuff. This one was fun to draw. What's that? It's just a little, oh, I uh, like that. little mice kind of singing. Christmas tree, and then we made 14 pints of peach jam and peach leather. We made some peach leather and some applesauce leather, which they both turned out really good. And then I dried some blueberries. I don't know how those turned out. They were fine. Oh, and I made some strawberry jam. So the thing about, the, uh, this is a Fobonichi, the thing about a Fobonichi is you want to, um, <clears throat> you can draw, you can put pictures, but you want to journal about your day. So it's like a fun way to journal. Here I made those almonds, remember the candy, candied almonds? So I made those and then we did, um, made blueberry pie filling. So I drew blueberries and then I blew through the almonds. Yeah, Clint really liked cheesecake. I think that was one of his favorites. Oh, yeah. And then this, this was Christmas. This is Worms. It's a game. It's kind of like a battleship or something like that. Or, or but it, it's really fun to play. We, we laughed a lot and played. Uh, what did I get for crafting? I got... Sis got me some soft pastels, which was, is kind of like chalk. And then uh, I asked for some like pie skillets and stuff because there's a book that I got on my iPad that is like baking for two or baking for one, but I'm trying not to eat all that kind of stuff. So I figured we can bake for one cause it gives you like four cookies or whatever. And then um, so I got that for Christmas. We had a really fun Christmas. Uh, Sis also got me a t-shirt that says, sorry I'm late. I had to wait for my cat to get off of me. She says, I always say there's a cat on me. Um, she also got me some fountain pens, which were really fun. And I use them in here sometimes. And then she gave Clint some really cute kitty t-shirts and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm and she's, uh, Clint's going to show you some of his t-shirts. He's fixing to do a video in the next couple of days. And he's going to show you those. So the day after Christmas, we're always so tired because sis comes out for a few hours and we play games and we cook and we eat and all this stuff. So this is me. This was actually um, a picture that I found by Gary Patterson, but he had the cat like draped across her head and I didn't like that. You couldn't see her eyes or anything. So our cats don't lay on our heads, <laughs> but they lay above, you know, like behind us in the chair and stuff. So I kind of drew them like how our cats would be. 
that one took a lot out of me. <laughs> it took me like two or three hours to draw it and, you know, do the cats and everything. Uh, and then the next day I just used stickers because I had, I think I did these both in the same day. And so I did stickers. Um, just drawing. I've noticed as we're home more, I'm not doing as much, sorry. Some things, no, not necessarily, I don't want you guys to see, but um, not that big of a deal, but you know. But as we're home more, I don't have a lot to do, so I need to um, make more videos for one, but I don't have as much to put in these journals, so I thought I would um, do more drawing. So you can see I have the bees here. This is a cute little squirrel, cute puppy. And this guy, let me show you. I'll show you here in a minute. But remember this guy, because I really liked him, so I drew him again. And then this was 30th, and I just really liked this. This was really fun. <clears throat> Goodbye, 2023. And then I was just resting this day. I wasn't feeling very good. And I saw this little picture. I always change the hair so it's more like my hair and then my kitty. Okay, and then this is some of the resolutions. My resolutions, I do not, um, I don't put on, set them in stone because I want to be able to attain them. So, um, continue to have faith and don't stress or worry. That's really hard for me. Because God has this. That's something that we've learned. Clint and I learned that years ago. Oh, yeah. And, you know, God had us during that, our rental, <laughs> I tell you. Because every, I told Clint, okay, we're going to have to rent again this week because we already had the money come in. <laughs> yeah. And we did. We had to rent like four or five weeks. I don't know. It was a long time. It was a long time. But, yeah, the money came in every single week, so we were fine. Um to consume less and create more. This is also one that Lindsay did, which means to consume less, watch movies less, and create more things. And I have been doing some um, watercoloring and stuff like that. I haven't broken out my pastels yet, but I do want to do that. Uh, keep eating healthy and lose more pounds. I'm happy that I lost 20 pounds, but you know, I would like to lose 20, 40, 50 more this year, but I'm just, right now I'm just focusing on eating healthy. I need to up my exercise for sure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's not like I'm determined to lose, you know, 80 pounds this year or anything like that. Yeah, so exactly. it's real, I'm trying to keep my resolutions down to that. So what are your guys' resolutions? Do you have any? Uh, continue my drawing streak. I am now at, on this day, which was the 30, is either the 1st or the 31st. Uh, can, I was 539 days in a row. Uh, continue decluttering, which we, I've been doing a lot of that, been going through my cabinets. Um, I think we only have like four or five more to go. And we have a pretty large kitchen. And uh, when we order cat food and stuff, I'm like, keep all those boxes because I'm going to fill them up with decluttering stuff. And eventually, I, I will get back out to the studio and declutter out there as well. Uh, journal every day, which is what I've been doing. I really enjoy that. And inspiration. This lady wrote this, and I loved this. Um, she's on the Facebook page, and it's called Bernie and Judy, Living and Losing with Points. And her name is Lisa Reagan Theory. And she's talking about how years ago, you know, she would eat at Christmas time and she would gain three pounds and all she'd do is focus on that three pounds and just say, you know, whatever, and then just gain weight. And she's saying how we have the power to change our perspective. If you gained weight this past week, month, year, or past decade, stop beating yourself up. Give yourself the grace you deserve because you are still here and you are still trying. Exactly. And I thought that was really cool. So kept that and then I did a hello 2024 page um, I did this part first and then I came back and drew the little guy if I was doing it again you know I don't really worry too much about this book but I would have had the colors 
colors better. And then these are just quotes that I found on Pinterest. Okay, and then this, and I changed it. This is one I found on Pinterest. I changed it to 366 opportunities because we are in a leap year. Uh, and I did wake up to go potty at 11.54 on um, the 31st, yeah, New Year's Eve, and stayed awake until midnight, and then I went back to sleep. <laughs> oh, and I won a prize for posting my um, Fobonichi pages, which was really fun. And then I started drawing houses. There's a lady on YouTube that I really enjoy watching, and she's drawing houses, but I mean, it's really wonky. But you know, that's the fun of it, is to just practice. And then this was just funny. Our cats are not like this. Our cats want us to pick them up. We have to, yeah. no, leave me alone, no, back off. Yeah. But it was so cute, I had to draw that. Another Pinterest thing. I'm thinking, I'm running out of ideas on Pinterest, but really there's a lot there, so. <laughs> So I practiced watercolor roses. I also did that on this day. And um, they're not my favorite or, you know, but practice, what does it say, practice? You can't get worse with practice. Some people say practice makes perfect, but I don't like that as much as I like. You cannot get, can't get worse with practice because true. that's true. And then I started getting more, um, Creative. These are also from Pinterest and adorable, but I loved this guy. I have a folder on Pinterest and I put things that I want to draw. And so I drew this guy. It doesn't quite look like the picture, but Clint said it's cuter than the, oh, I think it's the cute. one in the Pinterest. <laughs> and then this cat, and I liked, I kind of did the, um, the, um, layout you know on purpose like that so I drew the guys first and then I came back and then I was practicing portraits just to see if I could you know it's just someone on Pinterest that I that I did and um, just to see if I could do it and I really love how this house turned out and this piglet was really weird on the but I drew it exactly like it was on Pinterest so um, and then this, this one's kind of silly. This was just a cat I found and I kind of did it, um, Gracie's coloring. Gracie's doing really well these days. She's still picking on everyone. That means she's okay. Yeah. And uh, I have this one book that has these little um, things in it. So you can use your junk journal stuff or whatever. And this is just um, A to B. This is the only book I have out here. I have the whole set. But so I pulled one of these. I pulled artist and then I just colored it in with my alcohol marker. Which I love. And then being creative isn't a hobby. It's a way of life. Found that online. And then this guy, I think he turned out pretty well. It was, it was kind of funny because I started with his knee right here. And I drew this way. I think I did his knee, then maybe his, or both knees, then his hand, then this one before I did his face, which is kind of funny. But I also wanted to make sure that it would fit on my page. And he, he actually turned out okay. And then with the graphite ones, I have, uh, it's called uh, Krylon Fixative. So I do have that and I will link that if I remember. But so it doesn't smear. Or anything like that you can't erase it or anything and it should hold up through the years so uh, let me show you what else I've been doing we'll just kind of do like a recap I was gonna go ahead and do today's page but maybe we'll do that in tomorrow or in the next video so this is one you know I think I showed you guys when I made this and then I have welcome to my sketchbook and I found a, this picture on Pinterest, but she had really long hair. Of course, I made it small or short hair for me. And I love how this page turned out. I think it's so cute. This is some um, paper from my friend, Kathy. I really like that. 
And then this is a class that I took with Lindsay. Lindsay, she is having sales on some of her classes. I can't remember what her sale is this month, but if I remember, I'll put a link down below. And then this is was one of those classes. And this is using alcohol markers and blending them. I love how that turned out. I really like that. And this is that really thick paper. And then this, Sis could not get over this. She thought that was the prettiest cake. She said it's just jumping off the page at her. <laughs> and then I loved this one. This one was really fun. It's just a match and flame. But it was just so fun to do. And just to see it done, it just, I really like that. This one is one I did myself. It was an actual picture on Pinterest. And then I did um, a call marker. And I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. And it was to the side because I was going to do something else on here, but I didn't. This is that one picture I did on um, It's Awesome Art School with Karen Campbell. So that one was really fun to do. And then this little guy, remember I told you that we would uh, revisit him? But yeah, he, um, let's see if I can find him again in here. But I enjoyed drawing him so much that I wanted to do a full alcohol marker page. So I really enjoyed him. See here, I just had just a little blurb of him. But this one, it was, isn't that cute? That was so fun. I did, did this on the 30th and this on the 29th. So, so this is really fun. And this paper is like a 140 pound paper and it's so thick. And if you're into alcohol markers, you can draw on both sides. Cause like all this brown I put on here, nothing bled through. So you can, so I really like that. And I'm thinking about getting more of this paper. It's pretty expensive. But uh, for my Fobonichi next time so that I can um, do more creative things like alcohol markers. And I'll probably make me a um, like an eight or eight and a half by 11 book. And then just put a lot of this paper in there. And that way I can use my alcohol markers more. So I do have, I did use some alcohol markers on here. But I was thinking that they would really bleed through. And th this is really thin paper. I did all alcohol markers on this one. But what I do is I always tape two pages together. I don't know where my thing went. Did you take it? I'm done. And what thing? Oh, my tape gun. That's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. But what I do is I have that big, um, what's that thing called? ATG gun. ATG gun. And so I keep it over here usually. <laughs> and see it's really thin. So if as long as I put two together, it makes it go less time, but you know, it's still like 70 days or something. I think it's like a I don't know how many days. I mean this is two months in. We're not quite halfway, I don't think. So still have another two months, so maybe a four month worth book. But, I mean, the alcohol markers, like this one, I did all alcohol markers. And then if you don't want to do them, I was doing the Ohuhu markers. But, the more I use them, the less I like them. <laughs> Not crazy. Because this one, it looks gray. But when you color with it, it's actually blue. And, like this one. Let me show you. Let me get a piece of paper. Hold on. Do it on the back of this. So to me, that is nowhere close to that color. And so, I mean, I'll still use them because they don't um, bleed through. But since I'm doubling up, and if I can use my Ohuhu's, which is a um, alcohol marker similar to Copic, then that's what I'll use. And so all I do is I just, you know, write something out. And I, on this one, I drew this first, and then I kind of went across in a detailed area. Pencils, they are so awesome. It's a black wing pencil. 
and it's really like soft lead. The thing I don't like about, I do, I love the eraser, is the thing I don't like is the point goes away really, really fast. So, it would be a big deal if you had a sharpener right there. Yeah, and, but Wilbur chewed up my um, cord. cord when he was in his chewing stage. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do, just show you guys what we have been up to, talk a little bit about it. And in the next video, I will go ahead and do this whole page so you can kind of see my ideas and see how I go about doing a full creative page. Love you guys. Thanks for visiting. We'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for visiting. Cut things.